switched off of Mude out of now. Stewart looking to rise up, pulls the trigger, Marlon Stewart with 10 seconds remaining gives North Dakota a lead, 72-71. Well, you can't foul, they're going to set that high ball screen and then Keenan Walker will come off the backside, you got to keep your hands off. Stewart with a wild shot on the baseline, he got it. Unfortunately, too many fan bases want to put expectations on guys maybe too early in their career, but he has grown immensely from sophomore to junior. He's so good. That was nice. Danielson is 6'4. It's not like he's a small guard. Ward, though, with those long arms at 6'6. Able to put that one up and over. Teams with a bit of a heat check from their stars a moment ago. It remains a three-point contest. Stewart slicing through the defense. High up the window! <laughs> and they know how to win them. And they're going about their business in a very efficient way here in the second half. Take it over now with 12. Stewart. And Stewart runs down the loose ball, and back comes North Dakota. Stewart got Woolridge off balance, and then... Baseline. And that goes down. I think with that big body by Kispert and the position he plays... He's, he can bring so much to a team as Stewart again. This thing out now, and they're more than happy to let that clock keep ticking. Stewart activating late in the shot clock. Flex y'all by Marlon Stewart. Uni's a little tired, the bench is a little shorter. They want a good possession here. Stewart the pull up. Marlon Stewart! Kelly coming into play today, second in the nation in blocks. And this time without Kelly. It numbers. Ethan Thompson's behind. Stewart attacks, goes right through Tinker. Jump stop, but then he gets it turned it over. Got a little bit too in a hurry. Stewart's going to put a... But eventually Brown tracks it down for North Dakota. Stewart, I think, is sick of not making shots. Yeah, it's out on the court. There's going to be turnovers. There's going to be missed shots. But if you're hustling and you're working your butt off on defense, he's going to give you an opportunity. And to go out and be able to play for a guy like... Can you believe it? <laughs> Only his second miss tonight. Both have come from inside the arc. Stewart. Yeah. The wrist dunks in his time. He helps force the turnover here. Stewart one-on-one -on -one with Hunter. Behind the back. And the lay-in from... Already 10 to shoot. They haven't had anything going towards the basket yet. Marlon Stewart, one on one with Hardy, goes baseline. Reverse layup is good. Zaga's done a great job on Stewart as he drives to the rim and a chance for a by one. And credit Griezel on that one. He could have shot an early three that would have been okay. It was a decent look, but he didn't want to settle for that. He wanted to get the ball to Samuelson, and it was a nice plus you for most of the night. Stewart, the pull up over Samuelson. Before you're thrown into the fire at Gonzaga, and you just have to know expectations and roles and fours, and he starts getting his players easier shots. He needs to be much more aggressive. And there he's aggressive in every move that he makes on the basketball court. Boy, look at those hops. To attack Carl in there a few times and see if they continue to do that. Stewart off the screen from Rabracha, knocks down the triple. Stewart on the attack again, able to get to the rim. North Dakota six and six in conference, trying to pull above 500. That's just you trying to maintain their advantage over in for the freshman from Nebraska. Stewart 
right to the rim. Marlon Stewart. D. Berry matched up on Stewart, but Stewart around his screen created the cut. Tops in the Summit League. So, yes, he's looking to distribute. But an 80% foul shooter, so if he goes to the basket, that usually works out well also. Otto back and fully healthy now. He's got his team side with North Dakota at 21. Stewart able to take advantage of Goodrick on the switch. They've been able to hang in there, though. Here's Stewart, the step back. Marlon Stewart! <laughs> South Dakota State in the 11 point loss on Wednesday. Can him alternate seven of those as Marlon Stewart gets through. It's going to be a fun matchup watching those two go at it all night as Stewart again. Losing skid to the Bison. Stewart, once again! Led for eight minutes officially of that first half of action. A strong push by the Oats about halfway through, gave them this advantage. Oregon State, of course, I jinx. You are on fire Zach. today, you know that? Nine for 11, they are now, even with that miss. North Dakota, one of the better free throw shooting teams in the country. Only and here's some tempo pushing, the outlet to Stewart. He's one-on-one -on -one with Pyle, easy fit. When, you, when you're making a comeback, Dustin, you have to make layups. You have to make the easy That trail three, the second time tonight, he's come up not looking good from that. On the possession as North Dakota will come down with a board. Move back into the front court. Here's a three for Stewart. He hits. And you can't leave the shooters at the Bison half, so that's why Tyson Ward gets a lot of these one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Getting good. For a two-on-one -on -one now, Stewart right to the rim. Marlon Stewart! <laughs> Up to Stewart for three. Got it. Oh, but that was going to be a lob. It's about to be a shot. And that's the that's the thing. Marcus Carr got a little bit. Uh... Stewart. Around Willis and scores. <laughs> Phillips missed the front end. The second chance opportunity does not fall. Here is Stewart in transition. And layup off target. Stewart turning on the Jets on the other end. Going up strong. Gets the bucket. Two. he's going to have here in Fort Myers. Well, he passes the eye test and the play test. Uh, Stewart was well covered, had to kick, and the three. Jalen Harper from Pebble Brook High School, a terrific high school program in Georgia. Stewart to the corner. A three-point basket goes. Can't. Well, they better have, if that's going to happen, it better be deja vu all over again. It was a miraculous comeback in that game as Rapracha scored. Little drive on Marlon Stewart off the ramp. Still not able to buy a field goal here early on. Nice little alley-oop, and it's a finish. Behind and Stewart trying to dig his way inbounds. Finds it all. It's Walter. Nice Great speed. Now a 9-0 run. The Fighting Hawks and... Moody fakes, reload.